Hey there guys, welcome back to Anthony Vlogs, where Anthony Vlogs. Today, instead of uh, complaining about something that I don't like, I'm going to be talking about something that I did like, and that is the new Daredevil trailer for Marvel's new Netflix series. That'll be the beginning of their new street-level Defenders whatever. So yeah, we're going to be talking about that, because I like Daredevil, and you know, maybe every now and then I don't want to talk about things that make me mad or upset or... You know, rants. I wasn't planning on making this channel a rant channel, but it's kind of become that. So because of that, let's, let's talk about something good. Let's talk about something cool. And, and that's exactly what this is. This trailer for Daredevil is awesome. I love it. I love it so much. Um, I'm a Daredevil fan. I really like Daredevil. I like the different iterations of Daredevil that exist out there. You know, I like the Frank Miller style. I like the current Mark Wade run. I like... Um, the, uh, what am I looking for? The movie, the director's cut of the film is, a, is, is perfectly passable, uh, in my opinion. It's not horrible. The theatrical cut is, the director's cut is not. It's, it's good, it's fine. You know, it's not the best. It's, I wouldn't put it up there with, like, modern Marvel films, but it's alright, it's fine. Um, with this, this new show, um, it's really cool to see because it's definitely showing that because it's on Netflix, it's not on ABC or, hell, even CW. They can do things that they normally couldn't do. Um, main thing being blood. There is a lot of blood in this, and it looks really, really cool. I'm very excited for this. It definitely shows that... Um, excuse me. I'm just getting so choked up because I'm so excited. Uh, <coughs> see? There it goes again. Uh, I'm really excited about that. You know, I'm excited to see that the grit, the dark, edgy tone of it, because that's something that should be like this. You know, it's Daredevil. He is... That vigilante, that street-level vigilante that Marvel can do in this dark, scary sort of world. You know, it's it's not Fantastic Four or Spider-Man that's like, whoa, you know, like Iron Man and the Avengers, those, those films are very bright and fun. Daredevil's not a bright and fun character. He's, he's a lot different from that. You can do, um, quote-unquote, colorful things with him, but usually those colors are like red and black. And stuff like that. So, not a whole lot of fun and excitement in the Daredevil world. Um, you can have fun with, with Matt Murdock and Nelson, you know, his buddy Foggy. You can have fun with those characters, but once it gets down to the grit, once it gets down to, you know, him defending Hell's Kitchen, that's when it gets serious. I mean, you, it's, he's Batman. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's a poor, blind, Catholic Batman. And that's awesome. And th th this trailer does really cool stuff with that. Um, I like that he's Catholic. I like that. I, I, I do enjoy the fact that we have somewhat of a religious undertone with this character just because, and they've pointed out that Daredevil Matt Murdock is probably the most religious of the superheroes. We really don't focus on characters in their religion because we really don't have to. It's not the point of the character. But with Daredevil, I feel like there's a bit more to go off of. I mean, his mom was a nun, you know, for crying out loud. That's a huge, that's part of his character. That's his you know, where he came from. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about Kingpin. We get not a whole lot of Kingpin in this trailer, but we do get Kingpin, um, which is really cool. I like that we're kind of building him up as this sort of mysterious figure. You don't say his name. Uh, it's just, it's exciting and it's cool. Um, you know, it's, it's like I said, the fact that it's on Netflix shows that they can do things that they can't normally do. And <clears throat> I'm telling you, it's just too emotional for me. Yeah, I, I like it. I like the way the vigilante suit looks. Um, it's cool. I think it's it fits for that that first sort of suit because one, he's a blind man. He doesn't have to put too much effort into his suit. He's just going out there and doing what he can for now. You know, that's the thing about Daredevil is he's not super strong or super fast. He's not Captain America. You know, he's not even like at the peak. He's just very agile and he's blind. You know, that that's why they call him Daredevil. Because he's the man without fear. He doesn't need superpowers and stuff to go out there and fight crime. He doesn't even need sight. But with his heightened senses like smell and, and taste and, and hearing, you know, because of what happened to him, he can now do things that normal people can't. So it's not even like a real superpower. It's just something he turned into a superpower. His better hearing is is what makes him this cool superhero. And we can really see that with this show. And I'm excited to see his story told. I'm excited to get people, you know, into Daredevil because he's such a cool character. And, uh, yeah, this trailer's awesome. I'm, I'm so, so excited about Daredevil. 
But uh, really, that's all I got to say. I mean, there's always so much I can I can say to say that I'm excited. That's it. But uh, if you like this trailer, let me know in the comments below. Like this video, share it with the world because I want the world to know that I like Daredevil and I like what Marvel's doing with Daredevil right now. It's one of my favorite Marvel books, and it looks like it's going to be one of my favorite Marvel shows. So let's have a nice, strong start to this whole Defenders series with Daredevil. Yeah, awesome. All right, guys, this has been Anthony, and I will see you guys later.